Obamacare is unraveling, not because the administration is particularly incompetent or unlucky, and certainly not as a result of the Republicans' unrelenting hostility to the Obama health insurance plan. Indeed, ever since the bill's passage in early 2010, the GOP's holy war against Obamacare has served to solidify reflexive Democratic support for what has always been a Republican-inspired bill. The truth is, the Affordable Health Care Act is coming undone because of its own tortured internal logic. At root, it is a fraud on the public, a scheme to subsidize and more deeply embed a private insurance system that can only make profits by denying sick and vulnerable people health care and playing different demographics of Americans against each other. As every other industrialized country in the world has already learned, it is impossible to build a genuine, universal health care system on a cutthroat capitalist foundation. Private insurers make money by betting against the health interests of their customers. Obama served his corporate masters by conspiring to make tens of millions more Americans into customers of private insurers. He tried to dress up one of the greatest corporate subsidies in history as if it were a solemn national mission, a rebirth of the social compact between the American people. But of course, Obamacare is no such thing. It is a racket to prop up private insurers with public money while allowing the profiteers to continue to run the show. You can't hide a truth that big. The Obamacare website has suffered from terminal complexity because white-collar crime is usually quite complex. The website attempts to reconcile the profit margins and various products of a universe of private insurance corporations, while at the same time pretending to serve the health needs of the people at an affordable cost. Obamacare claims to be in the business of serving both the public and corporate stockholders. But that is mission impossible. If Obamacare is based on making profits for private corporations, if that's what keeps the system going, then the public's health care needs will always be an afterthought. And that will be obvious in the way the website is organized, as a sales platform that matches federal subsidies with corporate products, rather than matching people with the medical resources they need to survive and thrive. Website complexity and failures aside, Obamacare can never become part of a national social compact, something of which all Americans can be proud. That's because, by definition, corporate insurance schemes divide people into winners and losers, although, of course, the big winner is always the corporation. Young, healthy people know that they are the fatted calves of the insurance business, and they're avoiding Obamacare like the plague. If this were really a national health care program, like Medicare for All, then most young people would join in the national health care mission. But this is just Obama working a scam for the insurance companies, and young folks know it. Anybody who manages to get access to the website knows it. The fatal flaw in Obamacare can't be fixed. The best thing that could happen would be a quick and total collapse. Large majorities of Americans still support Medicare for All, but Obamacare stands in the way of a real national health plan, just as the Republican right-wingers that invented Obamacare back in 1989 intended. For Black Agenda Radio, I'm Glenn Ford. On the web, go to blackagendareport.com.